Well, what happens when you touch something hot, when you touch something sharp, is what we are going to study right now, okay? The reflex action. This action that we did, this action that we did, are reflex actions. So, what are reflex actions? Let me define it. Try to define it first. The process of spontaneous response to a stimulus without intervention of will. Right? It's like involuntary. You don't have control. You don't think about it. It's not at your will. It happens. It just happens. So, reflex actions are the processes of spontaneous response to a stimulus like light, that sound, that sharp object, these, the other stimulus, you know, heat, light, sound, these are the stimulus. Without intervention of will, you don't think about it consciously. It just happens. And that's the reflex action. Now, so this, this should be a very important question. In fact, when for the first time I, I, I encountered this word and the try to understand what has happened, you know, I really wanted to go deeper and understand the science behind it. How can it be so fast? Or rather, what is this? Fine? Okay. So what we will study is this reflex action and we'll see if the central nervous system or the peripheral nervous system or both are involved over here. If the sensory neurons or the motor neurons or both are involved over here. Let's explore. So, reflex action, the automatic mechanical response in response to the stimulus. The automatic mechanical response in response to a stimulus. Yes? Okay. Response to peripheral nervous? Yes. That means PNS, peripheral nervous system, is definitely, definitely involved over here. So, in response to the peripheral nervous stimulation, because of stimulus and it's nothing else but whatever we have studied so far that stimulus that all those ion channels opening up generation of that impulse that conduction of that impulse then transmission of that impulse fine it requires involvement of a part of yes central nervous system is involved over here or else who is suggesting you to move your hand who is suggesting you to just do like this when you are getting scared who suggests you to run away when you are seeing a snake in front of you. It's, it's like, you know, when you start running, that's your conscious effort. But that moment that you have to quickly get scared and move and run away, it's, you don't think about it. You are just scared. Okay? If suddenly a snake comes hanging from the top in front of me, I'll just run away from you. Okay? That's a very spontaneous reaction. Yes? So, requires involvement of the central nervous system to suggest what we are supposed to do when this type of stimulus is coming. Fine? Great. The question next is, uh, how does the reflex action take place? Of course, the basic and the obvious question that we need to understand and answer right away. How does the reflex action take place? We'll take an example. Let's see. Let's take an example of uh, if I am touching something hot or fire is there. Now this fire, this heat, is a stimulus okay now I will have receptors the sense organs skin you know there are receptors it will sense the heat over there now what will happen well see here you've studied about this the afferent neuron it will collect this stimulus it get triggered the signaling process will happen it will travel and take this signal to the central nervous system here i am talking about the spinal cord please note this okay spinal cord great take it slowly okay so there's a stimulus then the afferent neurons are involved over here the signal is taken to the central nervous system fine great now from the central nervous system this signal this stimulus is processed and next, the instructions is traveling again through like a signal through the efferent neuron to the effector organ. Efferent neuron to the effector muscles or the effector organs. And the response will happen. And what you will do is, yes, yes or no? Great. So these are the components involved. So there's a stimulus. 
and the stimulus is received by your receptor the signal is transmitted by the afferent neuron to the central nervous system from the central nervous system it is processed in the central nervous system it is processed and the action is suggested again in the in the form of a signal and this signal now is transmitted by the afferent neuron and to the what effector organ and the effector organ muscle it will contract relax whatever is necessary necessary you know it will do that and result into the movement of your hand for this particular case got it so this is the reflex action mechanism now if i look here whatever has happened can i call it an arc yes think about it can i call it an arc yes we can because you see it's like an arc happening the stimulus then afferent neuron then the spinal cord afferent neuron and the response it's like an arc so it is also it's also termed as the reflex arc reflex action this is this signaling is known as the reflex arc this path of the travel of the signal because of the stimulus to the cns and then to the effector organ this is an arc so it is known as the reflex arc clear so what is this reflex arc i'm talking about it is the nerve pathway or the chain between the receptor and the effector organ it is the nerve pathway or the chain between the receptor and the effector organ fine receptors and the effector organ so which controls a reflex great so reflex arc can you relate about it relate to it fine so basically again if i try to relate with this help of this particular picture it is i can see it is the nerve pathway pathway because it is traveling along a path or a chain between the receptor receptor here the receptor was skin my skin okay okay and the effector organ here the effector organ is the muscles fine and it controls a reflex so this path is the arc reflex arc so i would like to redefine the reflex action once again the process of spontaneous the process of spontaneous i'm trying to focus and emphasize this word because it's spontaneous you don't have conscious efforts to do this action the process of spontaneous response to a peripheral nervous stimulation peripheral nervous stimulation of course this involves the peripheral nervous system that occurs without intervention of will and requires a part of the central nervous system fine got it so this is the reflex action clear